Hello everybody and welcome to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do a brief overview and demo on this amazing wall of video screens behind me. It's actually being run by an 8x8 HDMI scaling matrix switch from A10. Model number VM5808H. So what is an HDMI switch and scaler? At the most basic level, it does switch between eight different inputs to eight different outputs. But because it uses an FPGA matrix system architecture, it can seamlessly switch between all I.O. ties. The switching happens faster than alternative solutions, so you can avoid blank screens between feeds. It can actually stitch together multiple monitors in different configurations, creating one or multiple larger screens. The high performance scaler will upscale and downscale video resolutions to match the native resolution of the displays in use. This allows you to use multiple monitors with varying resolutions. A10 also has a 4x4 version of the HDMI scaling matrix switch, but we're going to concentrate on this 8x8 version for the sake of this video. So what are some use case scenarios? Well, for starters, you could create video walls for signage, set up messages, menus, or ads, and even create a schedule for them to run on. It's HDCP compatible, so if you need to display copywritten content via Blu-ray or PS4, you can do so to multiple screens. Now, if you had something more professional in mind, you could also do large-scale keynote-style presentations with one of these, uh, sort of like the ones you'd see from major corporations. Now, my personal favorite use of the Switch is to set up a multiple inputs for live streaming. In fact, that's exactly what I plan on doing with one of these. You can basically set up multiple sources like gaming PCs, cameras, tablets, or consoles and connect them to the A10 8x8 Switch. Connect a monitor and capture device to switch outputs to, and with some configuration via their web GUI, you have multiple input switch for professional grade live streaming. Hell, with a web GUI, you can even edit settings from a tablet with wireless connection to the switch. That includes anywhere in the world if you have internet connectivity set up for it. Uh, but I think I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So this beast has the ability to automatically read the EDID or extended display identification data from all eight displays. This is extremely important when you're moving between multiple display types, eliminating troubleshooting. It can be set to manual or customized EDID settings too. This is all in an effort to optimize the timings and resolutions of your displays. The eight outputs support resolutions of 480p, 720p, 1080i, and full HD 1080p at 1920 by 1080. Since it's a matrix, you could feasibly create two sets of four 1920x1080 monitors for two massive 3840x2160 displays, or even four sets of those 1080p resulting in four 3840x1080 displays or two taller versions of them at 1920 by 2160. It also supports Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio providing lossless HD audio across the same HDMI connection. Now you might have quite a bit of distance between your switch and the displays that you intend to output to. The switch will push the HDMI signal across 24 gauge HDMI cables at a maximum of 50 feet or 15 meters in length by utilizing cable equalization and output reclocking. But if you need to go really far, like 300 feet or 100 meters, you're going to want to pick up one of their HDMI over Cat5 extenders for single or dual displays. Using Cat5 as the copper medium for transport vastly increases your transmission distance while supporting IR signals for TV control, RS-232 remote control, Ethernet connectivity, as well as video and audio. Now let's take a closer look at the rack mountable unit itself. The system has 32 presets and a built-in bi-directional RS-232 serial port for high-end system control. On the front panel we see the LCD display, input and output controls, as well as the menu, profile, cancel and enter buttons. On the rear we see the 3-pin AC power socket, power switch, the HDMI output ports are all on the top row. HDMI input ports are on the row below them. Then we have the 3.5mm mini stereo port for the IR receiver unit, the Ethernet port, and the serial port to connect a PC or system controller to. Once you get this baby connected to your network, you can edit the system using its web-based GUI. You can even set up a tablet to connect to this and write your own program to send specific commands at the push of a button. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. But uh, before we go, there's a lot more that I could probably say about the VM5808H. And if you want to learn more about it, check out a10-usa.com or click in the link in the description below. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.